Uh, good afternoon, everyone. And um, first of all, I just want to thank you, every, each and every person who's coming here. Uh, my buddy, Johnny Rucker, who's leaving out, who's an encouragement uh, to me uh, for uh, when I was first injured due to an ulnar injury. I've known Jerome uh, close to 20 plus years. I support him and I thank you for coming out and supporting him. I believe each and one of us has a value and support for coming here and a reason for coming here. But what we know now is, is that Fannie Mae, CICLS, Wayne County, Liberty Hill has fallen short, has been unfair to Jerome Jackson. Jerome Jackson, all he did is what any and every home, home, human being asked for, to have a good quality of life and to have a home. Mrs. Booker, Vanessa Booker, Mike, Bob, I know, uh, I know that they fight for people in the housing as I do, but in different ways. But, but Jerome, he's been treated unfair because of certain things that he didn't agree to. Now they want to put him out. As I said earlier, and I believe this wholeheartedly because I'm a member of many organizations besides Warriors on Wheels. Michigan Welfare Rights, number one, is an organization that some of you know of. I see many people here I know of and don't remember their names. I see your faces, and I'm thankful that you came here. But first of all, Jerome is not disabled. I'm not disabled. Beatrice is not disabled. We are disabled. That's part of our life. But we're people first, and that's what society has to understand, who we are and what we ask for. We're entitled to the same thing each and every other human being asks for. You are entitled to the same access as I am. I need access much more. I just need more access than you may need because of the life that has been altered due to an auto accident. But Jerome's case now, here it is, is causing problems, not only for him, but I know of others who is in CLS. CLS is a, a, govern, a government entity that is falling short and treating people in, uh, unfairly, making their life inhumane, and it's unfair. I ask of each and every person here today and those that you know of and that those as you can continue to send out the emails, calls, letters to continue. Union A UAW Region One, all other locals I believe are in support of Mr. Jackson and we're here we can unify and we can start something larger than they can expect. Uh, thank you all once again for coming. 